Hello and welcome to our tutorial. Um, apologies for minor background noise. I uh, hope it's minor. Um, what we're going to look at <coughs> in this uh, tutorial is we are going to have a look at um, well, what app nulls, apps null have. No, we're going to um, <coughs> have a look at um, the skin modifier is what we're going to look at. And the skin modifier is really interesting, um, and it's going to be sort of the first part of a, a, a kind of a series of tutorials that we're going to uh, work on. So uh, let's start. So we'll start by going into edit mode, and we will press W and merge at center. So we've turned what was eight vertex, uh, vertices into one. So we have one vertex. <coughs> now. So let's um, yeah. there we go. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the modifier stack here, and I'm going to go to the skin modifier. Now we have immediately got our cube back again. And what the skin modifier does is it um, basically creates, uh, we can create a, a frame, a skeleton, and it will create sort of a mesh around it. So we're going to use it in conjunction with the mirror modifier. Now this is only going to work in front orthographic mode. Actually work in front perspective as well, but for you know best application we'll uh, go at front orthographic. So if this red line is the ground, I'm going to go GZ, and just lift this up, and I'm going to extrude out uh, a leg. Okay, so just to uh, I'm going to press this button down here, which is uh, to toggle what is uh, visible and what's not visible, so we can see this uh, this line. So if I select it all, you can see the line going through here, going through the cube. So I can select this, <coughs> move it forward as if it were sort of a knee, and then E and move this down. E, move it. What is I suppose a foot? I'm gonna take it all. Let's move it up a little bit higher on the uh, z-axis. So you can see we have a basic sort of shape here. Now we're just gonna have a look at some of the functions of this um, um, skin modifier. So this red circle here indicates the root. So it says mark root here. So we don't want the foot to be the root. We want this spine here to be the root, so I can go mark root, and you can see the mesh has instantly changed, and that's because um, it's going to base um, all of its, uh, you know, the the twists, the the rotation of the of these lines uh, on the location of the root bone. So I'm going to go back to front uh, orthographic, and I'm going to go E and extrude up, look from the side, and move this forward a little bit. Forward, forward. Now, um, okay. So I'm going to extrude my shoulders out from here. So again, I'm using a mirror modifier. So I'm only going to go one direction, and it's doing the other side for me. And go G, move this here, move it back, move it forward. Here's my my hand, and I'm going to go. Get a bit funky here. Make some fingers. Now, let's have a look at how we can refine this a little bit. So, I can select the vertex and I can go uh, Control A, and it will determine the size of the mesh that I'm creating that surrounds that vertex and try and reshape the corresponding geometry. Okay. Now again, it's only a, a very simple uh, tool, um, but we can use it quite effectively. Now I'm going to take these two here and I'm going to subdivide them and give this sort of a broaden out this sort of uh, the shoulders of the character here. And 
Now, <clears throat> we've got a few interesting uh, connections here to the geometry. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, I'm happy with this basic shape. If I wanted to add in a tail, I could extrude it at this point, but um, I'm going to apply my mirror modifier. And that's uh, to uh, to allow me to sort of um, move things a little bit more, uh, or to use these tools a little more effectively. So I'm going to go into uh, object mode, and I'm going to apply my mirror modifier. And you can see that the geometry has changed. Now when I go back into, whoops, into, sorry, I'm hitting cap lock. <laughs> and not uh, tab for edit mode. Now I've got all of my um, geometry of both sides. Now, when I extruded out of the, the spine, the root moved up here, so I need to move that back, so mark root. Now, there is a function here called mark loose. Now this only works in areas where there are more than two edges converging. So this has, um, one, two, three, four lines or four edges converging on this one point. This point here on the other hand has one coming into it and one going out of it, so there's only two. So if I go mark loose, it's basically ignoring this uh, vertex. If I do the same here, nothing happens because it doesn't have um, more than two faces coming out of it. Um, the only other place that this will be a huge issue for is, is here. So I can go mark loose and the same on this side if I want it to. Um, so I can go clear loose and I'm going to do the same over here. Oops, wrong one. Thank you. And then <coughs> I'm going to do the same here. Now, um, the other thing that we have here is we've got uh, equalize uh, radii. So if I click on that, uh, very little has happened, but it's trying to basically make the radius of um, what's around this equal the adjoining. Um, uh, verts. So if this one was really big and this one was really small, equalize will try and average the main. So when I select this one here, I'm going to go uh, Control A, make this a bit wider. And same with this. There we go. And I'm going to subdivide the head. <coughs> make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to select all of these, make them all a wee bit smaller, and then I can afford to, oh, I didn't mean to do that, I extrude it, I meant to go G, I can move these in a little bit closer to each other. Now what we're going to do with this um, model is we are going to make um, we're going to sculpt it. So we're only looking for a really basic sort of uh, definition at this stage. So I haven't put any shape to um, the size of the feet. I haven't given them any toes. Um, so we could have all sorts of fun with this, but we're just giving it a basic sort of shape at this stage. <clears throat> now the last thing I want to show you about the uh, skin modifier is this. Um, it can, in object mode, I can cl click create armature. And what that will do is, and, and make sure if, before you do this that you've applied the mirror modifier. So if I select all of this, you can see that I've basically got um, what would be a good skeleton made here. You know, they all, all of these lines go through the mesh, or this potential mesh, um, at the appropriate moment, or appropriate places, um, for bones. So rather than you know applying this and then going back and making a skeleton, we can in object mode go create armature. And it has created uh, an armature based on uh, where the original frame of the character was. So that is um, our basic, very basic character. Um,
and I can just hit uh, apply now. Uh, so that's our very basic character and from this here we're going to sculpt uh, and that will be uh, add an awful lot of detail to the character. Okay so I was going to save this and we save as and I'll put it on my desktop and we'll call this um, uh, skin modifier. Okay. And we'll be working from this as a starting position at the start of our next tutorial.